All right, so the title of this two-part series may be a little bit misleading because I, I like digital cutters, but I don't love digital cutters. In fact, some days I can kind of hate digital cutters, but you know what? A lot of times they can really make our lives easier. So what this video is uh, going to be about is showing you how to use digital cutters with your Quilt Fusion patterns or the Quilt Fusion software. Um, and then some tips and tricks that kind of help make things go a little bit smoother as you use that to create your quilts. So I'm gonna head over to the computer here and we're gonna fire up some Quilt Fusion patterns and show you how to download those cutting files. Okay, so as I mentioned before, these instructions are gonna be for using the Silhouette Studio software with your Silhouette Cameo to cut out these fabric pieces. First thing I kinda of wanna mention is, is what designs are typically best to cut out in your digital cutter. In theory, you could probably cut out any quilt and all the pieces using your digital cutter, but it's really suited for certain types of pieces or designs. Um, this carousel quilt has a lot of repetitive shapes um, and different motifs that make it ideal for cutting on the digital cutter. I don't really need to know what numbers they are. I could probably figure that out as I place them. Uh, the other thing is um, I don't need to do a lot of fussy cutting on this. Um, you know, there's nothing that really needs to be directional or placed just right, which is very difficult to do with a digital cutter. So in this case, this, this quilt's ideal um, for cutting, cutting out. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you uh, generated your pattern from Quilt Fusion or whether you bought your pattern um, off of our website. Um, all of our patterns, regardless of where you get it, comes with the SVG f cutting files. Those cutting files can be accessed when you receive your pattern. So if you generate it, um, the pattern is going to pop up. If you purchase it online, when you click on the download link, you will download your PDF pattern. You'll want to scroll down to just below the fabric list. and you'll see a big button that says cutting files. You're gonna click that and you'll see that you're gonna download a zip file that's going to have all of those cutting mats um, listed in there for you. Now I'm still inside of that zip file and I need to extract these in order to use them. So I'm gonna click extract, extract all. And I like extracting everything to my desktop uh, makes it easy to find once I get into the Silhouette software. So I'm going to put it on the desktop, click Extract, and we will see all those files are now on my desktop. Um, you'll see they're each split up into their own fabric. So this particular quilt has 20 different fabrics um, in order to make it. Each fabric has its own cutting mat, so all of the pieces within of the, each of these files will all be, you know, grape or taffy or oyster. So now that we have them extracted, we're going to open up our Silhouette software. And make sure you have the latest version of your software. Um, they've got a, prior to this, you used to have to import SVG files. Now you can just open them straight from the open file open dialog box. I'm going to go to my desktop, find that carousel, and I'm going to open up the first cutting mat, which is the oyster fabric. It's kind of that creamy white fabric that's um, used throughout. And so these are all the pieces that are going to be cut out of that oyster fabric. And um, you could you know, cut it straight from this, but you could save a lot of fabric by rearranging these a little bit more economically on your cutting mat. Um, and speaking of the cutting mat, I tend to like to um, cut on the 12 by 12 mat. I think, um, you know, it's going to cut it out quicker and if I can fit all my pieces on there, it has less of an opportunity for that fabric to kind of pull off or lose its grip. So I tend to cut on the 12 by 12 mat if I can. The pieces are too big, then I'll go to the 12 by 24. Um, these pieces are all grouped together, so if I try to select them, they're all going to move together. So what I want to do is select and go to Object and click Ungroup. 
and now I can move them all around individually. And I'm just going to try to place these, you know, maybe in a four by four foot, a four by four inch um, fabric arrangement. Um, you can rotate them, but do not scale them. You don't want to scale them. Um, you want to make sure everything is the same exact size that it was when it was imported. Okay, so I can see from uh, the grid that these are all going to fit in 4x4. Four four. If I select them all, I can also see that this is 3 inches by 3.5 inches. I always round off to the nearest or the highest inch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write myself a little note. 4 inches by 4 inches in the oyster fabric. And so that's the size of fabric I need to prep and put on my cutting mat in order to cut these pieces out. Next thing I need to do prior to sending it to the machine is again make sure they're all selected. And you want to go into your cut settings and you want to select cut edge and now they should all be highlighted in red. And the material type you want to select is thin fabrics cotton prints. The other thing I tend to do is um, I like double cutting um, and what double cutting does is it will go around and cut out the fabric once and a lot of times it may you know miss a couple threads or um, you know sometimes it, it just misses spots and you'll have to manually cut those. If you do a double cut it'll go back around exactly in the same spot and cut it again so you'll have to cut less threads which is kind of nice. Um, you'll still probably have some that get stuck in there and you just got to trim them off with some scissors or something like that. All right, so this is ready to send. We just need to prep our fabric and, uh, and put it in there and send it to the silhouette. Um, that's going to be our next video showing you how to prep fabric, apply it to the cutting mat, and kind of show you how to get the best results for your cut. So uh, join me on the next video. Thanks.